If you could have the answers to all your questions, what would be at the top of your list of questions? Would you be wondering about what is true and what is not? Or would you be interested in the purpose of life and what happens to us when we die? What about knowing the future and what you could do with that information? With a doomsday clock soon to be adjusted from 2.5 minutes before midnight to a time that most likely will take us even closer to midnight, would you maybe be wondering what lies ahead for the world in 2018? When Donald Trump declared Jerusalem the capital of Israel on December 6, 2017, did you know that his action linked the President of the United States to a prophecy in the Bible concerning King Cyrus of Persia? Just as King Cyrus, President Trump is a Gentile king that made an international declaration regarding Jerusalem in the first year of his office. This is something that none of his predecessors could do since Israel received their land back and this happened exactly at the point where the Jewish nation had been back in their land for 70 years. King Cyrus made a decree regarding the rebuilding of Jerusalem and the temple in the first year of his reign after Israel was in exile in Babylon for 70 years. President Trump's actions are not only lining up with biblical prophecy, but they also follow the instructions of a letter by those who pull the strings of the world's governments in the background to bring about World War III. These instructions were already written in 1871. There exists a good possibility that a vast amount of biblical prophecies could be fulfilled in the weeks and months before us as a result of Trump continuing in the footsteps of King Cyrus of Persia. This could, in my opinion, involve an announcement by Trump regarding the rebuilding of the Third Temple or aspects that affect the status of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Considering various situations facing the world today and how these would seem to line up with prophecy, it would seem that the Temple Mount in Jerusalem will become the focal point of the world's attention in 2018. It would seem that some event involving the Temple Mount will be used in order to trigger a war in which the Muslim nations and Israel will move to mutually destroy each other. When this happens, the Muslim world and other nations will likely be compelled to rush toward Israel in order to attack it. 2018 would also seem to be a prime candidate for such an event. When we notice activity in line with this beginning to occur, we know that this situation had been predicted for more than 2000 years, and that it points to the start of Jacob's trouble. Be assured that ample information had also been provided to describe to us what will happen in the aftermath of this event. This would be the time where it would be most important to put the question of what will happen next at the top of your list, and to ensure that you are prepared and ready for it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel shown in the banner below, where we will continue to look at the situation in the Middle East unfolding before us in the weeks and months ahead, and where more information and updates will be provided as and when they become available. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.